Today, we're going to check out the new episode of Spy Family. And of course, once again, I am joined by Diana. Hello. That was a long one. Uh, <laughs> um, previously, Anya finally went to school. She met Damien. He tried to bully her. She beat his ass, then uh, went to apologize. It, it was it was very cute. Actually, you know what? I think she beat his ass in the previous episode. She's obviously getting closer with Becky. And at the end of the episode, we got introduced to Yuri, yours, little brother who works in intelligence, but in like a special part of it, because we saw that Kevin, I think, is that the guy's name? Kevin? I think so. Something like that. He, he mentioned how, oh, the special agents and whatever. So he's like some sort of secret projects or whatever. I'm interested in finding out more. So with that said, let's jump into it. Though, before we do, as it turns out, most of you are not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the content that we make here, then like the video and consider subscribing because you can help us reach our goals by the end of the year with just one click. And if you want to see unedited versions of our seasonal anime reactions, plus even exclusives for freshest patrons that won't be cut up for YouTube for quite a while, you could join our Patreon link in the description. Anime titty. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm keeping that in, by the way. Everybody's going to hear this. <laughs> yeah. If you ever watch a series, obviously, you know, we would never ever watch a series on a platform that isn't officially licensed. But if you ever did, um, you'd probably get a pop up with what? what is on the what's on the pop up, Diana? Anime titties. Yeah. Anime titties. You humming? No. No, I think you are. I heard the hums. <laughs> Math. Oh shit. Five six minus two thirds? That's one sixth, right? No. <laughs> no. Damn. She said it was such confidence. She was so, she was like, I got this teacher. Three out of three is just one. <laughs> Oh, he's counterintelligence. So he is like a CIA. Oh, that's central intelligence. Whatever. Damn, dude. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no. Aww. Aww. Well, hey, man, what let him. Yeah, what? yeah, what the fuck? Is he like a torturer or something? Yuri? I wonder what he does. Psychological analyst or some shit? That room just smells of lung cancer. What? What the fuck? Oh, everybody's smoking over here. Damn, bro. The Marlboro ad? <laughs> Dang. Ooh, he is some sort of like analyst. He'd be analyzing people and stuff. <laughs> oh, you were right. Did you say that he was after Twilight, or did I? I don't know. Somebody did. Um, I don't know. I think I said something like that. Not after him, but looking for him. I don't know. Or maybe knows knows. That's him. like his mission, yeah. Oh. No, I don't understand. How dare you? I would never be infidel. In, in, infidel. Infidel. Infidelity? That's not the word, right? Mm. Oh shit! Sasuke's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of do look a little bit like Sasuke. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry, got unlocked. You're right, Diana. Oh my god, it is Sasuke. Holy shit! Damn, for real. She might actually be smart one day. Oh, she's gonna start being able to do math. 
<laughs> like, she's so serious. She built different. Like, look how she built. She looked like a fucking brick. She's doing my stance. That that's literally your stance. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Cringe. <laughs> oh, Anya's the best, man. Anya makes this entire series. Imagine this thing without Anya. Working late, beating the shit out of somebody. Little Anya. Here we go. Damn, oh son. God. He's skipping. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. Oh. They both looking sneaky at each other. Oh. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I can't deal with it. Hey, can you do something about these big ass fucking flowers, bro? Does she know he's an assassin, or...? Dang, she don't even love him? That's Not so yet. Pain. That's some pain right there, damn. <laughs> Yo, what's crazy is Yuri's actually gonna believe. Because she is, she is kind of, you know, like she would forget that shit. Goofy ah. <laughs> Damn, what's that, son? Mm, that little bussin. That's some salmon. He about to be in love right now. Food wars. Uh, I would have, I would have much rather had a little food wars moment where his clothes just blast off of him. <laughs> And the salmon's like, like sucking on his lower half or something. What the fuck? <laughs> That's that is a big bottle of wine. Oh, it is a big ass bottle of wine. What the fuck were you gonna say? I was gonna say if if you've seen Food Wars, like that's some Food Wars shit. What the fuck? Dang! Christ, dude, he got like a sister complex. What the fuck? Uh, he's fucking sexy. What do you think, dude? He's suave as shit. Handsome, tall, considerate. Exactly. Look at him. <laughs> it's so weird, bro. Oh, Dominic was his name. Why did I, I thought his name was Kevin. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not even close. Who the fuck is Kevin? <laughs> what anime is Kevin in? <laughs> oh. オーサニアの情報機関が使っているスクリーバージの <gasps> and so she started killing people in order to I, I'm wondering does does he know she's an assassin um I would think so I think that answers your question or maybe not blood all over it now damn what the uh, fuck? What the Is she <laughs> always covered in blood? <laughs> That's traumatic. <laughs> For real, what the fuck? Flimsy, okay, that's fucking rude. How about y'all fucking throw hands right now? <laughs> He's just calling him Lottie now. Oh! This man's gonna be like daughter. What the fuck? Damn. Meteorite. What? Uh oh. 
<laughs> he wants him to fuck in front of him. Okay, relax. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Too much anime. <laughs> what kind of anime are you watching? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nah, I knew he was gonna say kiss. That's what it always is. He'll use his hand in front of their... to hide it? Hide the kiss? No? Anya's gonna wake up. Anya's gonna save the day. Anya! <laughs> oh no! Damn it, Anya! I didn't want you to come in with the ending! I wanted you to show up! Ah, oh, damn it. <sighs> okay, that was, it was a good episode though. Good episode, right? What do you think? Yeah, very cute. All right, okay, so um, first let's get some thoughts out of the way and then I'll I'll talk about some things. Um, what do you think about Yuri's job? That's epic. Yeah, he's like, uh, kind of like a NSA, CIA. He's part of the secret police. So I guess his job is specifically to deal with, you know, it, it's, counterintelligence so we see that I, I i don't know exactly what tactics he uses but he got pictures of this guy so do you think he goes around you know kind of proactively finding people that might be traitors and then taking pictures of them or you know doing like spy shit i, I have no idea but kind of cool that i was kind of close but not really yeah, I don't, I don't remember what you originally said. I think you said that he was an assassin or uh, another... I, you said he was a spy, right? I think I said that, that they probably worked together, but then you're like, no, he's, you know, on another... No, I'm area. talking about the very first time. You remember when they were getting chased in the car? I think it was like episode two. And you're like, oh, oh what if he's yeah. chasing them? And, oh, you know, yeah, like he's a spy me. too or an assassin or whatever. Um, yeah, so like you you kind of initially out the gate said that he might be a spy or an assassin. I guess this technically isn't either of them, but it also kind of is a spy in a way. But instead of like going and spying on people, his job is to Interrogate? find spies, you know? So it's kind of similar because he's like looking into people's lives. So he's not like big picture, like looking into government, whatever. I, I would say it's kind of like a spy though, you know? He He's working in, in intelligence, you know, counterintelligence, not like as a, a, a spy, I don't think is necessarily counterintelligence. I think it's working in intelligence, you know, to, to look into shit uh, that people are up to. I don't know, whatever. Uh, so I guess you were kind of close. I think that's really dope. He works for essentially like NSA, CIA type of thing. I don't, I don't know which which one's correct. That's why I'm saying both of them. <clears throat> this episode really focused on him, his job and him coming to meet your and meet her husband for the first time. Didn't really go so well for, for Lloyd. He's very suspect of Lloyd and your, but I'm pretty sure what's going to happen next episode. It's going to start off with Anya popping out of the room. Anya, waka waka. And she's going to like... <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna stop the whole kissing thing and he's gonna be like mama and papa lovey-dovey and it's gonna be cute And I just what and then she's gonna read his mind read his mind find out mm, gotta find out if he's Twilight blah 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 <gasps> We're gonna see the little face ah really great man. What do you think? How how good do you think this would be without Anya? It would be trash, right? I, don't know. I mean it wouldn't be as good as it is now but you don't think it would be trash? I don't know, cause she's there. I can't just picture her not True. there. Yeah, she's so like integral to this. Like without her, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like the Mandalorian without Grogu. <gasps> it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make she sense. Makes it, it makes like, brings a comedy. She completes it. Without Anya, this, this just isn't spy family. Anya makes everything. You could replace Lloyd. You could replace Yor. But you can't replace Anya. Anya's adorable. She brings the funny moments for sure. I don't think anybody else really has funny moments on her level. I think that we occasionally, like we were getting some laughs out of out of um, Yuri just now. We get some laughs from, from like what Lloyd does, but none of it compares to Anya. Anya's stuff is the best. Unfortunately, we didn't get a continuation of her in school and stuff, but we did. Oh, I guess we kind of did. She was like learning the math and she fucking sucked at it. That was great. She's like three out of three. No, it's, it was it was one sixth. Um, I don't even know how she found it. It was like, I think it was like, I think it was like five out of six minus two out of three. It's one sixth because, you know, two thirds is four sixths. And then you've got five sixths minus four sixths is one sixth. Right? Don't don't talk to me about that. <laughs> I know I'm just fucking with you because I know you don't do math at all. <laughs> That's not your thing. Yeah, but she just shouted out an answer and was totally off. But I like the fact that using the spy thing, she's this is how she's gonna do math from now on. It's like bullets 
enemies. If Lloyd man, I think that was the name that she gave to, to Lloyd as the spy, right? If he takes out seven out of 20 enemies and then six more enemies join, how many enemies, like that's what she's gonna start. Like that's how Bro, she's gonna do shit. She's gonna start answering like that in class. Yeah, they're gonna be like, um, like five bullets remaining. They're gonna be like, what? <laughs> yeah, I bet, dude, I bet. It's gonna be fucking great. I would love it. She's got two out of eight bullets. <laughs> it's great, man. Great. I, I would love to see it be that way. Um, <laughs> just be so weird. I also just want to see more Damien, Desmond, and Anya moments. He just absolutely loves her. She is not interested like that. You know, she's just living her best life. And I also want to see more Becky moments. Becky is just a big fan of Anya. They're good friends. You know, I, I would love to see them hang out. And obviously any sort of relationship she develops with the kids in this school are good for Lloyd because the kids in the school are, are freaking, they're just like very important children, I guess. But going back to Yuri, right? So Yuri shows up. He has a sister complex. A hundred percent. He's all about his sister, doesn't want his sister to be with a guy that he doesn't think is the best for her. Yeah, I mean, it's something we see in anime, right? We see like brother complexes, sister complexes. He's just really overprotective of her because she was very protective of him and raised him. So, you know, it's it's kind of like, even like a, like a, like let's say you were raised by just your mom and she starts dating a guy. Like you're gonna be kind of like hesitant about it because you are very protective of your mom. That's the only person you have in your life. And that's the same situation with him and his sister. Mm -hmm. Anything else that really stuck out, uh, stood out to you in this one? I really like this episode. I wanted to know more about uh, her brother. Yeah, same. I, I would love to find out more. I'm sure we will as time goes on. Okay, so Loki, I do have a theory. Uh, on something. I don't think it really has, I don't know, man. I don't, it's kind of like, I feel like it's a spoiler just because I take a few different things and put them together to be something, but I'm pretty sure I'm right about it. Okay. I don't know if Diana should be here for me to say it though. Okay. I'll mute my, I won't listen. Yeah. Definite. And I'll send you a message. Okay. She definite. All right. So the reason I have this theory is because a few different things. One, I've seen the covers of the light novels, or not light novels, but the mangas, right? So volume number four is a dog. And um, that kind of like, I that's something I remember like last episode or the episode at, uh, before that. I think it was after we watched the episode where she's drawing the thing and I was talking about, oh, they're gonna get a dog. Then I was like, oh wait, yeah, they definitely are gonna get a dog. There's a dog on the cover there. Unless the dog's their fucking enemy, which there's no way there's gonna, he's not gonna fight a fucking dog, okay? They're gonna get a dog. It's part of that established family sort of thing, you know, that, that really, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we're the perfect family. We also have this pet, a pet dog. Okay. One, they're gonna get a dog. Two, it was mentioned to me during the episode with the meteor shower. Um, when there's a shooting star, they go up. Now, I don't know if this is true. I didn't actually look into it, but shooting stars go up. This thing did not go up, it went down, which means it's probably a meteor landing, okay? Now, I know there's some crazy wild shit. It's probably really stupid that I'm saying it, but what if the dog that they get is actually a fucking alien? <laughs> I know initially I was like, what's a, it's a robot dog. What if it's an alien dog? <laughs> and that's what the meteor was. The meteor comes, lands, and he mentions a meteor just now too. And that's what really like jogged my, my, my thought process on this one to bring it up. I almost forgot about my theory here, but he mentions like a meteor landing, like, oh, he would protect her from a meteor. What if he knows about the meteor landing the, and it was an alien spaceship, okay? But the, there was no alien, the alien got away, turns into a dog, and that's the dog that they end up getting. I don't know if the dog comes to see them or they go to adopt it, whatever it is, alien dog. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but I almost don't want to put it past this just because of the fact that Anya's a science experiment girl and Lloyd puts on people's faces, you know, like the fucking, the many faced God in Game of Thrones. Yours is literally an assassin, okay? like. Who knows? They could just do some wild shit. I feel like adding aliens might be a little bit much, but shit, if I'm right, goaded, right? Now, again, I did have a little bit of help finding out about the shooting star meteor sort of thing, right? I don't know how accurate that is. Maybe it's entirely wrong and I'm just too gullible and I just believed, I don't know. Um, and also then knowing that there's a dog on one of the volumes and they get a dog and stuff. And Anya wanted a dog when she was showing the image of the family. Yeah, I don't know. 
You guys let me know how crazy the theory is. Actually, no. Yeah, I mean, you can let me know. Like, don't go spoiling. I, we're not going to read the comments. Diana and I don't read comments for, for, for Spy Family. What we, what we actually do, like what Diana does, um, she... We'll look to see what people are saying about her though. So like if somebody says something nice about her, you know, she'll, she'll like search, you can search comments specifically for keywords. So she'll like look for Diana, see what people say about her sometimes. Um, I tell her not to just because some people are fucking assholes, but whatever. Anyways, so if you ever have something nice to say about Diana, she will probably read it. But you know, don't be a spoiling dickhead. I'll, I'll let her beware. I'll tell her like to beware during this specific one, just because I, I mentioned this. But yeah, if you have a comment, something nice to say about Diana, you can always that. If you have something mean to say, you know, you can do that too and we can just get you out of here. I'm gonna un tell her undeafen. Welcome back. <laughs> You're not asleep, stop. Welcome back, welcome back. I got a theory out. I know I took a long time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so with that said, we would love to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below. How do you feel about Yuri specifically? And also, how do you feel about Anya? Do you think like, do you think she more or less makes this series in my opinion she is the most vital character to the entire story because without her i probably wouldn't be watching it. she's just so fucking adorable i mean if if there was another character in her same role whatever but she's just so adorable right diana yes waka, yeah waka. Waka, waka. but uh you can let us know how you felt about this one down in the comments below i told them that that you'll like search for comments with your name just to see what people say if they're being nice mean and we just ban the people that are mean but You're you know the nice ones Oh, okay. <laughs> but I told them that, that you do that. So just be careful with this one. You know, somebody might, who knows? People are assholes. They might try and spoil just by mentioning your name. And they're like, spoiler. And then, you know, so just be careful. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one if you're interested in anime themed content since that's what we make on the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace. peace. Yeah, I got a piece all right. Piece of shit. Piece of shit!